Guys, GameCube Quest. Uh, this isn't the number two. This is this will be in the number two video when I'm going out hunting, but this is just the selling part. So Minecraft, we picked it up for two dollars and fifty cents. We're selling it for twelve dollars. Not bad. It doesn't. It doesn't even have the manual. It's just the game. Uh, I tested the game. Everything works. Uh, so yeah. So I'll probably throw up the price of how much we have in the fund right now. We still have two games left to sell. If they're even gonna sell, I don't even know. I'll probably have to mark them down pretty cheap. But yeah, just super stoked on selling this because I haven't went, I haven't made a GameCube video in at least a week or maybe just a little bit over a week. I'm not too sure. But I think we have about, uh, we have 255 at home, I think, or 250 in the fund. And this is $12. So I threw up the price on the screen. All right, guys, I actually didn't sell it for $12. I sold it for $10 because uh, I gave the guy a $10 bill. He gave me a $20 bill, meaning I only sold it for $10. But I do have it listed for $12. Um, I guess the guy only read the listing price and not actually read the description. So that's kind of a bummer because I lost it on $2, which is just going into the GameCube fund. and It's not going to me at all, just the GameCube fund. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a bummer. But it is what it is. People just need to actually think and read instead of just quickly glancing and be like, all right, $10, cool. But either way, here's the actual price of what we have in the GameCube fund. And I'll also flip the camera and show you cash, like the amount physically, instead of just putting up there. Because I could be lying right now. All right, guys, in the last GameCube Quest video, we ended off with $2.55 two loonies, two quarters, and one five cents. And now, since we sold Minecraft, we have $12.55 into the GameCube fund for either stuff to flip from the thrift store. Uh, I actually got told I might not be able to go to a pawn shop because you have to be 18, which sucks because I'm only 17. Um, but yeah, I still might want to try. It might go with my parents or something, mom or dad, or even someone who's just over 18 uh but yeah this is how much we have to either spend remember i said uh i can either flip stuff from other thrift stores other stores like for example if walmart has like a hidden clearance or something and which is rarely unlikely unlikely but for example if they were to sell something for like 90 cents and i sold it for like 20 dollars, i'm allowed to do that i'm also allowed to uh sell stuff from my dad's storage unit um meaning that could be anything like for example if i were to find a game in there that's like twenty dollars that's twenty dollars going into the gamecube fund but i kind of like how i go to the thrift store because it's just a, it's just a really nice adventure just going to a storage unit it's kind of like takes the fun out of it but if i ever do really need money i'm probably gonna ask my dad to Go to the storage unit so I can try to flip some stuff. It can be anything. I It can be games, uh, cutlery, dish sets. Um, I don't know, like Mario figures. Anything from my childhood or anything that I don't really need. It's in the storage. All right, sorry for babbling a lot. But I could also use coupons from either the thrift store. Uh, pretty much only the thrift store is where I'm really going to use it for. I can use coupons and whatnot. You guys previously heard me what I can use before. So, Steven, play Game Quest Episode 2. All right, guys, GameCube Quest number two. Let's see how we do. All right, let's see what we can find. And I'm not seeing anything for games. I mean, there might be a couple. Let's check them all. Let's see if there's anything. All right, guys, these are the games. I'm gonna, ch I think Mafia 2 might be worth it. All the games are $5 each now, which really sucks because that's a lot of money. For $5 each, that's quite a bit. Usually they used to be like two to $4 each. But I'm gonna just sift through these, check what they go for. Also, I'm probably gonna take a peek at the toys that they have, because like, I could also flip toys. Ooh, there's a Mario Kart thing. Look at this, $8 though, and there's no remote, and I already have one of these. Let's see what I can find. I'm gonna price chart these and see what I can get. What the hell? 
All right, guys, I'm kind of debating. I kind of want to get this Mafia game. It sells for like $13 on price charting complete. But also, I found this. It's, um, I just guessed it. It was Abomination Hulk, of course, from the year 2006. It sells for about on eBay for like $30. Easily $30. Um, like 30 to like 40. I'm probably gonna price mine as like 25, 20. It's only $7, so I probably will get this since it's such a big margin. And it looks like it's all good, I think. Look at this. Someone broke Thanos. Luckily, he won't snap. Look at this weird monkey. So odd. As you see, I got almost 20 bucks in flex points, and I can redeem six, and it's that much. Let's do, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's do six. Sweet, so a dollar four cents. All right, guys, so it only costed a dollar and four cents. As you can see, I redeemed six dollars worth of points, and I have about like $13 left. So, not bad. I'm hoping to sell that figure for about, I'd say, I mean, since I only paid a dollar, so I'm thinking, honestly, 15 to $25. In between there would be fine for me. Um, so yeah, GameCube Quest 2, not bad at all. Um, only paid a dollar, so I'm really hyped for that. So that means I have more money to spend at uh, Salvation Army if I find anything. So here's what the total is in the GameCube fund. And we subtract that by a dollar oh four, and here's the new total right here. This is the new total. So I think it was like twelve fifty five. Subtract one oh four, and here's the total. Oh, boom, boom. All right, guys. Here I'm at Salvation Army. Um, they have some cool stuff in the glass case. That Star Trek thing's pretty cool. Some old cars for ten dollars each. Not a chance I'd buy that. Marvel comics. Not comics, but books. And I see a Legend of Zelda one, which is pretty cool. Ocarina of Time. I zoom in on it, and there's a Mega Man one above it. There's also a Peter Jackson one, which is pretty cool. Here's the wall of, like, miscellaneous stuff. Whether it's toys, glassware, beads, phone cases, toys again, as I just said, yarn, etc. Random stuff here. But honestly, not that bad prices. Like, look at this. This whole bag for... Three dollars. That's not terrible. <gasps> SpongeBob headphones. What? All right, guys. I might get this just for myself. It's SpongeBob headphones from 2004. I don't know if you could see that, but look, it says 2004. I'm trying to talk over the music, but this bag has a lot of like 90s stuff. Look, three dollars for. Uh, I can see cat and dog, Smurfs, Potato Head. Uh, I see a Sonic right there from looks OG. Uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Star Wars. This bag is a lot of nostalgia and Tom and Jerry. How cool is that? All right, in here is just a random cart full of toys. There's a lot of um, DC and Marvel characters. More so Thor and Batman. Uh, Batman's DC, Thor is Marvel. You see Iron Man 2, uh, another Thor that looks very weird. He looks very weird, his face. And through his hand, look at that. Oh, Sorry about this voiceover. I would put music, but I'm just way too tired to fully on, like, put stuff in the background right now. But I promise you, episode three will be amazing. It would be, it, it would be crisp. One of the crispiest, crispiest uh, episodes so far. Episode two, I'm still starting with this uh, GameCube series. So just give me the benefit of the doubt, please. But yeah. They still have this uh, PS key system and a blender and some other miscellaneous stuff. Alright guys, so I got that $10 uh, Mega Man guide. The Spongebob thing is not for the challenge, but I spent $10 on the guide and a dollar and four cents at Value Village. So, so uh, the original price of what I spent at Value Village. So that subtract ten dollars left leaves us with this much in the fund. So not that much.
Alright guys, we're back home, and this is what we got from Value Village and Salvation Army. Value Village, I got this, as you guys saw, a dollar and four cents. And this for ten dollars. Pretty expensive. Um, but this honestly on price charting it says like fifty-eight dollars. Which is kind of insane. I'm obviously not gonna price it as that, but this is actually really clean. I was gonna get the Zelda one, but since it was only seven dollars, but I was just like Eh, I can't justify $7 for a pretty beat up game guide that probably won't even sell or probably sell for like only like 12 maybe. Uh, but yeah, so this is the grand finale of how much we have left in the fund. So not terrible. I got a list of stuff and hopefully it sells. So yeah, on to next episode. Hope you enjoyed.